It takes a great display to make a brilliant smartphone. Google's most recent Pixel phones have been good in this regard, especially in realistic color reproduction. However, they've never quite matched the very best in some important areas, such as peak brightness and dynamic refresh rates. Google has frequently used older generation panels, presumably to save some money to position their offerings more aggressively. The downside is that its last flagship, the Pixel 7 Pro, while well calibrated, was just not bright enough in some scenarios. Thanks to a source inside Google, we've gained a lot of insight into the display specs and features of the upcoming Google Pixel 8 series, and a lot looks set to change. The perfect phone size has been an ongoing debate for years, and it doesn't seem likely to end anytime soon. Regardless of your opinion on the subject, Google's Pixel series offers two distinct display sizes, a smaller one on the non-Pro models and a larger curved one on the Pro models. While other specs of the phones aren't exactly identical, it still gave users a choice. With the Pixel 8 series, Google is tweaking the formula a bit. Firstly, the regular Pixel 8 is moving to a smaller display, 6.17 inch instead of the 6.3 inch on previous models. The 8 Pro, on the other hand, retains the same 6.7 inch size, but the panel is now flat. Good news for the many people who consider flat displays to be a positive thing. Google has also fine-tuned the rounded corners of both models, more than doubling the corner radius in both cases. In other words, the displays are slightly less square than before and a little more rounded in the corners. This Pixel generation also changes the resolution of the Pro phone for the first time since the Pixel 6 series. Google has opted for a slightly smaller 2992x1344 resolution for the 8 Pro instead of the old 3120x1440 standard, giving it a pixel per inch density of 490, down from 512. The resolution of the Pixel 8 remains unchanged, which combined with a smaller display means its PPI is slightly higher, 427 instead of 417. The brightness of both of the phones has also been substantially improved, at least according to the values declared in code, which keep in mind can differ from reality. The Pixel 8 can supposedly achieve up to 1400 nits peak brightness in HER content, up from 1000 nits on the Pixel 7. The 8 Pro has also been upgraded and can now display up to 1600 nits in HER, up from 1000 nits on the 7 Pro. Since the Pixel 6 series, Google has used display refresh rate as a differentiator between different product tiers. For example, in the Pixel 6 series, the 6 it was 60 Hz, the Vanilla 6 was 90 Hz, and the 6 Pro had 120 Hz. The Pixel 7 series made a significant adjustment. The 7 and now has a 90 Hz panel to match the Vanilla 7. This was an interesting move. What was previously the prime reason to pay more for the base phone over the Pixel A series unit was now gone. However, Google will rewiden the gap between the 7A and the 8 series as the regular Pixel 8 now gets a 120 Hz display. The 8 Pro also has a notable upgrade of its own, a more variable refresh rate. Still, it appears that the 8 Pro will be able to smoothly change the refresh rate between 60 and 120 Hz, unlike the previous generations which could only use a few predefined rates. The benefit of this approach is that the display refresh rate can more accurately match different content, reducing screen tearing. For example, 24 FPS content could now be shown at 72 Hz, meaning each video frame is shown for precisely three display refresh cycles, rather than five at 120 Hz. Another way this could be utilized is for games. If Google implements this functionality, the display could match a game's higher frame rates, completely removing tiering, similar to AMD's FreeSync or Qualcomm's QSync. Also, the new displays clock down to as low as 5 Hz, saving power when the screen is not actively refreshing content. So, what are your thoughts about the upcoming Pixel 8 display? From curve to flat, would it be a game changer for Pixel users? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.